For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm going to be a bit of a kind of an overview range on kind of, of the awnings that Isabella offer. Be it for kind of your caravan, your full awning or even for the motorhome. We'll kind of go through the whole collection that Isabella have uh, and sort of how they sort of differ in between the models. Um, so, and we've got separate videos on every single model in there. So you want to have more in-depth video, um, you can always check out those individual videos on our YouTube channel. So, Isabella is a, a very much kind of the Rolls Royce in the awning world. It doesn't matter if it's a moto awning, it's a caravan awning, you know, they're all about quality. Something's going to last and again, comp creating the best product they possibly can and in regard of almost price to a certain degree, it's all about the fine details of Isabella of why actually you get what you pay for. You know, they're one of the more expensive awning brands on the marketplace, but yeah, it, it, it's those nitty gritty details that really do make what it is from how it's been put together, whether it be the triple folding and double stitching of the roof materials, the, the weight of the materials they use, or importantly, kind of the process they go to actually colouring their fabrics. Just all these little things actually make a huge difference. And I will touch on that obviously throughout the video itself. So probably what they're more renowned for merely is their sort of full awning range. So they do literally a quite a wide range of awnings and depending on sort of different depths obviously you're using your sort of a measurements so you're fully up to the other side and it's worth mentioning actually at this point that Isabella always have their own sizing when it comes to this really because your generic sort of 15 16 17 sizes are too generic for Isabella they want it to be bang on so they break it down to a smaller amount so um best thing to do is get your a measurement from the bottom of the ground up along the top down to the other side um, and then have a look at where you are whether you're a 1100 or a 1075 and then Isabella got their own um, parts to it you can also check out um, Isabella's tool where you can actually check out your make of your caravan the year it is and then find the model and it'll tell you that measurement as well so if you have any questions or queries you can always come back to us directly on that so what I'd actually probably do, I've picked the camera up now, we'll have a walk through a load of the uh, models we've got here on, on the stand uh, and just talk about a few individual details about them. So the first point we're going to start with is probably um, the full awning range. Um, the first one we've got here is the Ambassador. So the Ambassador is a, a full awning, it's 250 deep, it runs with a, a 295 gram um, basically acrylic roof and sides, so it's basically designed to be more all season so you have all the time you can use it as more touring it's a slightly heavier weight the side door scenario you can see here you've got almost like a um, 50 percent window and then 25 25 so you've got doors on either side of it so it means you can actually get access to the front or the background to move the panels around at any point naturally you've also got a full canopy down the front as well and um, again just to keep it all really nice and tidy and as you see it here we've got the optional kind of cozy corner uh, put onto it itself Generally, what you find with Isabella is you've got apex ventilation points. Um, but it's the fabric is the main thing that you find with Isabella of what you get. The stance is sort of 250 depth, so even with a very flat fronted side, also you've got enough room on the inside there as well. Availability in pretty much all of the uh, full awnings have a different option to poles. So you either can go for the traditional kind of uh, Xenox steel frame, which is about a 22 millimeter frame. Failing that, you can then also go to the Carbon X. So it's a lighter frame, probably reduce the weight of the awning down by about 20% for the framework anyway, maybe a little bit more actually to be honest with you. Um, yeah, probably about 30%. Um, and it's just as strong. Failing that, you can also go for the Mega Frame. So it's a 32 mil, really beefed up. Personally, that's purely just a seasonal pitches. I wouldn't do anything more than that if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Next to the Commodore, we've got the Capri. It's the same in every single way, pretty much, as the Commodore. Just the fact that the uh, roof fabric goes down to uh, 249 grams rather than 295. So it's more a touring base, but again, to be honest, it's better than most people's all season awnings. So you can happily use that. It's more price orientated. The canopy on this doesn't go fully down. Um, it's not it's sort of about a foot off the ground. You'll probably see it a bit better on that side. Uh, and then again, it's not out as deep as well. But it's in available in the north material. You can get the Commodore, which is that model in this colorway, which is the north fabric, um, whereas that is the Dawn. 
So you can obviously look at that as an option. We've also got windscreens you can buy which clip on on the inside again, which works really quite nicely. And of course the classic, classic wind brakes, which will help to enclose it. Different kind of canopies, so you can add on to it. So again, you can really make it what you want to. This is the um, Eclipse Mini, so it's a shorter version of the normal Eclipse, which is a, a sort of standard sort of around about sort of two uh, meter depth. Um, so again, universally fitted, depending on your size, and they just tap onto the front canopy part of there. With the um, Capri, you've got like a slightly bigger door and then a panel to the side, which are interchangeable. So you can flip the door section towards the back or front of the caravan, depending on how you want to go for it. Um, but all of them, again, you've got your lovely PVC windows, your classic kind of Isabella porthole to signify it is obviously Isabella. Uh, and then you've got your curtains, which are very easy to put on and off. The next size up in the same kind of signs, we're looking at the Commodore. So where it differs to the Capri and also the Ambassador is the depth. So it basically it's an Ambassador, but a three meter depth rather than two and a half. So it gives you that bit more space internally. Fun features wise, again, exactly the same every single way with the canopy down to the very end, the paneling, but you can see straight away in coming in here, how much extra room you've got behind so you extra half a meter. Typically, again, you can get it in different um, frames as we've previously talked about, but you can see on the side panel, you've got the same kind of 50-50 door on either side, but you've got this kind of clear, uh, sort of not clear panel, but it's kind of like a, well, you can get light through it, let me call it, like, like when you're in a shower. <laughs> come, I'm going blank on that one. Um, opaque, it's not opaque. Anyway, but yeah, but that was a bit of lighting, but you still um, get, get benefit from the extra depth. So all the parts are sort of separate. Um, you can, of course, with these buy things like annexes. So on the next one up, which is the Forum in the Etna color, um, the Forum actually is a deeper awning again. So it is a 350 deep but it's got the flexibility that the front panels can move backwards or forwards depending on you want it. So you can still have it as say a 250 deep awning, but then adjust it so it's deeper on one side or flat on the other side. So you can create almost like a canopy by bringing the panels further forward or have the three and a half meter depth fully out to there um, by moving all the panels, like I said, to the very front of the awning itself. Um, we've got it here basically in the mega frame, which is probably the recommended. I wouldn't use this. This is definitely more of a seasonal awning. You put it up and you leave it. You're not going to touch it. You know, you've got, you can see actually probably the diameter of the frame now. That's really thick. And you've got the additional wing nuts located on there again to really kind of tighten it down rather than kind of uh, like a push clamp, which you typically get with the um, carbon frame or, of course, the uh, T-Rex clamp of the Xenox steel. But it creates a really lovely area. You've got a little light as well. To me, it really does feel like a homely kind of environment. And all of these are bellow parts. You have curtains that easily put on and off. So it was great, a little slider, and you can actually change it so the pattern appears on the inside really quite nicely. But for me, it's how it's put together. The roof seams, how they all stitched is brilliantly. All of the attention points on the bottom are kite stitched and reinforced. Any point when the, the frame will meet the canvas, you have reinforcement points again, just to make sure there's no rubbing. You have tension points, and often what you find actually is when any point you go with a frame, the frame has what they call, um, well, the canvas has what we call regulator tabs. So what it is, is it's this kind of little point down here, which basically the bottom of the pole sits into um, the canvas, that then the spike goes directly through the top. So it locks the frame to the canvas, and then you've got that throughout the whole kind of awning. Uh, and then it really helps to get kind of the uh, frame looking really tight. Um, but it means that everything's all binding together. So it's really strong. And generally the tolerances, because it's European made, there's not much here, absolutely rock solid, which is a crucial sort of thing. And it will test me to the fabric. You can see kind of the grain in the material. And that's due to the nature of how they've done it. So one thing that's big with Isabella is the fact that these fabrics last for years. Generally, you find actually it's the way they process the material and the uh, color, for example. So what they essentially do is dye the thread rather than dye the material once it's pre-woven. 
Now, what this essentially would do is means that you have a difference between, say, a carrot and a radish. A carrot being like your Isabella, when you cut it through, the colour stays throughout all of it. So as the outer layer strips away with uh, UV damage over, you know, life's time with the sun, you, that colour stays throughout it. Where your radish would be what most brands tend to do, where they just dye the material. And when you, that coat, outer coating layer goes with the UV and sunlight, naturally it goes white and fades. That's where you get really great colour retention with your Isabella awning. Annex is available, as we can see here, really nice and tall. Optional extra pretty much for all of them. Um, it, all the side panels tend to be about the same, so one Annex will fit pretty much anything. And again, you can have them on either side, you have it on the right or the left, depending on the model. And of course, all this information is on our website, if need be. The biggest kind of, well, semi-biggest they kind of do is the Penta. So the Penta is basically like a, I would say more like a conservatory. You've got this beautiful kind of peak located at the top. Really great, it's great elevation, uh, and it's definitely purely all living. Whereas admittedly with the forum, you have the ability to kind of move the panels frontwards and backwards to give you more canopy space or living space. The Penta is all about living space. So as we kind of can come in, we've got an additional tall door canopy we've added onto it. A great way of having sort of a really nice entrance and um, exit without having to worry about what the weather's doing. So as we come in here, so that works really nicely. The Penta is free five deep so it's sort of in between the Commodore and the Etna but like I said you've got this beautiful kind of framework it's available in a steel or a mega frame personally again mega frame for this if you're leaving it on site just because it's real beefed up the beautiful size and shape of it works really nicely and these kind of um, offset doors work really well so it creates a lovely kind of almost you know natural entrance to it typically with all Isabella awnings you have a um, a draft skirt come included, um, as well as sort of things like your additional uh, uh, hang-ons, I'm pretty sure they're called, um, fix-ons, fix-ons, there you go, um, which slot it into the pole and you get enough normally for all the roof section, depending on the span, it depends on how many roof poles you get, but it's a bit of, you know, make sure you've got enough really, so there's no need to buy anything extra. They do tend to only come with one veranda pole for the front as well, throughout all of the awnings. And typically, depending on the model, the veranda pole can not only go on the front, but you can choose to have it on the side instead. And of course, you can buy them extra as well. So again, that sort of works really quite nicely. Beautiful panels, nice and uh, big. And again, on the Penta, we've got sort of a Siamese door and an open door. And like I said, we can go into more details on kind of our little videos. Other things to mention kind of about Isabella is just generally the warranty. So you get a two year warranty as standard, um, but you get a third year once you register it with Isabella itself. And again, see we've got a, a new canopy for the Penta and it even has to the level its own kind of guttering system, which is uh, something quite special. And also it sort of steps up as you can see there and looks really quite smart. Of course, the other thing with Isabella is the fact that you can go to town with windbreaks to create your ideal um, kind of initial shape. So the windbreak really helps to kind of mark your pitch, be it your normal sort of mega frame, which again matches the fabric of kind of the mega awnings, or fade out the smaller ones really to mark your boundary. Um, and you also can get the options of gates. So you can kind of come and go as you please without having to worry about the dog, for example, escaping. The other thing I do like about the Penta is the fact you've got this external canopy the whole way around the product and it's got fully adjustment points. So on the bottom here, you can actually up, raise it up and down. There you go. So you can tweak it to give you a certain amount of drainage as you want to. But of course, like I said, you can uh, check out that if need be. So that's kind of Isabella's full awning ranges, all the way from different depths from the 250 up to the three meter to the 3.5 of the Penta or the 450 of the um, Etna with all the options in terms of extras, be it your cosy corner, your sort of clips mini, your clips, or even your full or forum uh, canopies as well. A range that they also do is their port joining range. So again, one big model that's been very popular for um, the latest season is the Cirrus. The Cirrus is kind of Isabella's first inflatable awning. It's all the best parts of, of Isabella with the fabric and the quality and the stitching, but with an inflatable quick and ease to pitch. Available in two sizes, available in a 300 and a 400, that refers to the overall width, and the depth is 275, so it's a good a bit more deeper depth. Completely inflatable, really quite nice and easy. It's that beautiful North fabric. So it's the um, sort of 245 gram uh, material, roof and sides, same as with the normal Capri, but you've got this beautiful kind of canopy as well to give you a bit more additional space. 
ventilation panel on the side and as we have it here you can buy additional what they call annexes or I would call it extension um, but you've got the airframe again makes it much easier to pitch and um, we tend to do our own pitching videos as well with uh, with atmos so we can show how we go even the um, veranda pole which gets supplied with it is also inflated as well but suits really nicely and creates that sort of natural sort of wet dry area with the um, the annex you still get your mess parts necessary to it uh, and also got the rear parts as well and often you get sort of additional um, typhoon straps which you can buy just, need just to give it a bit more bounce and braces or load up additional points are normally lower so you can actually then peg it out but again it's the details that really make the difference with the pvc mud skirt the uh, different uh, elasticated points so you can get extra tension and replace them if need be because you know the all the cameras gonna last that long you want to make sure that everything else will is easily replaceable if need be uh, and also it's worth mentioning the fact that the airframe is sort of a larger size than normal in their porch awning range the ever classic magnum um probably the one of the longest running models that they've done and if it's not broken i fix it tweak it every now and again we've got it in the newest model with the etna color again available in a 400 or a 340 it's a two and a half depth so it's your, it's your bog standard i say bog standard but your bread and butter porch awning can't go wrong isabella quality breathable which is one of the main factors of it and you've got your seal and against the van or caravan uh, um, really quite nicely so it's a unique system to Isabella something they painted it a pole basically goes down it clips all on again locks the frame to the canvas which is a, a key point across the whole part of it uh, available obviously with the um, the fiberglass frame the carbon frame sorry carbon frame as standard um, but again really nice sort of canopy and what you also get is the touches again you've got a canopy pole located in here so unlike cheaper awnings you know you get the full extent of the works and again still an annex is available to go quite nice and neatly onto that as well the mega free windbreak again matches the material so the gray is quite neutral so you can't go too far wrong then we move on to the minor dawn minor dawn is a small little porch awning um, it's again decent sort of size big enough without being too big so it's still kind of your standard uh, this thing's 235 deep actually so it's a little bit smaller but it's something perfect just take the shelter off to allow you get into the actual caravan itself no an option for annexes on this side but it still fits against the man in the same way carbon frame as we've got it here so again really nice and lightweight um, and you've got the additional kind of uh, isofix so you can get adjustment I can do it one-handed it'd be even better and it locks in place again so it actually gives you structure and, and you're not going to get any sort of slippage Beautiful pattern of curtains. Again, you can turn, like I said, patterns even sided out. Mesh windows on either side as well to allow airflow. Uh, and then the front panel, again, can be completely removable to help reduce the weight. And that's the same with kind of most, pretty much all these abellas really, that, that all the panels reduce it. So when you want to slide it into the awning rail, you can quite happily do that. The winter, very unique awning, purely pure, as the nature of the name suggests. It's designed purely for kind of your winter months. It's a PVC kind of material, so uh, no panels removed. It's very much just about getting in and out in those colder months. You've got your mud skirts, which are suspended, extended, and also they're kind of snow skirts. The snow helps to weigh it down. It's got reinforcement um, sort of poles as well. So again, really striped strong. So it is designed really for those kinds, of, even to live up to the Scandinavian sort of weather. Where you've got a lot of weight and snow and things coming off there so you've got kind of a, a steeper roof section to it ventilation as well but it's all about quality and lasting uh, and then you go as the kind of photo suggests if you focus on that um yeah it's all your bread and butter item with your additional points um really quite nice and neatly and then the last one which we're going to kind of move on to is the universal dawn the Universal Dawn is probably again one of Isabella's stable markets it, um, it's a 295 gram acrylic uh, again so it's, it can be a seasonal porch awning as well as a touring um, it's a really nice um, Xenox uh, frame in there again really beefed up and you've got loads of extra points you can also buy a wintering kit if you wanted to really have it up in the winter um, which basically have additional struts that come into it two and a half depth your standard depth again we've got a canopy built onto it but it's absolutely rock solid and you can see about all the points that link again we've grown frame to the canvas along the whole point available in two sizes be it the 420 which we've got here or saying that you can also go for um the uh the 360 
Um, one of the unique points about the Universal is this whole big mesh panel located on the front so you can get airflow in, but of course get your privacy out when you wanted to. We've got the optional door canopy on the opposite side again, but you can see you've got your, we'll call it your 70-30 door. So again, these panels can interchange with one another, so you can have it on the opposite side, bringing the door forward rather than the back. That's pretty much everything really. For more questions, queries and concerns, feel free to let us know. Uh, actually, we'll move on to a couple of new driveway warnings. So um, let's touch on that and see where we go from there. So driveways wise, we've got a new model in the range. Um, so we've got the uh, Isabella X extension, i.e. an X tension. Um, very clever sort of way of extending onto a van. So with this, you can actually have it in different. So the main body is remains the same size which is 330 wide by 250 deep. You also have the ability to add different tunnels on, so you can pretty much pick and choose what vehicle you put onto, and it'll be made it that precise that there's a different tunnel for, say, uh, like a VW, be it California, that's the tunnel they're calling it, or even like a slightly taller transit. There's only probably 10 centimeters in here, but it's better have been that particular. They wanted to create an extra um, tunnel for it to make sure it fits perfectly because there's a little bit of adjustment. It's designed that you just walk straight into it and straight into the van. So there's no sort of real kind of tunnel section in between it. And then you've got um, sucker points to really get the seal about there. So it's all about bringing the living area directly into the van. Um, two removal panels and a fixed panel at the back. Um, like I said, three options with tunnels, be it the um, actual California tunnel, the what they call the family van tunnel, which would be more like your uh, Ford Customs or your sort of, um, sort of uh, Fiat models. And then failing what you can also do is they do a, uh, a what they call a van tunnel, which is basically purely designed for like Fiat the Catos and boxes, so the taller chassis, the midline panel vans as I necessarily call them. Of course, you've got the ability of um, a load of windbreaks, so you can pretty much pick and choose your windbreaks, whether it be your, your Ventus, i.e. your mesh windbreak, just to diffuse the wind, your solid panels to match necessarily the normal colours, all with carbon frames, and of course they do the mega frames as well, um, which you can obviously add on to with a mega frame and gate it up just to kind of bring it all. It's a larger frame, so again, on that model. New model they've brought into the range is the Isabella Buddy. A buddy is basically additional side panels which you can add on to a wind out. It can be any generic wind out and it's quite versatile on the fact that um, you can get different widths and alter it. So you don't necessarily have to have it the whole room, the full length of the uh, wind out itself. You can actually have the flexibility of making, say you've got a four meter uh, wind out, you can have the panel section 330 for example. And you've got additional magnets located on the top which basically connect the main tunnel part. Um, to that to kind of keep it all neat, neat and tidy. Again, you've got annexes, it just helps you enclose it. Even with this buddy, I would say it is still going to be very fair weather, really because the wind out are a cassette wind out, the slightest bit of wind or anything, you want to make sure that it retracts it back. So it's a good option. Um, it just gives you that option, really. I think more I feel on the continent more than anything, but it is um, kind of that trip traditional kind of Isabella material. So it's a breathable, durable, extra bit of ventilation points with your curtains, everything kind of Isabella-ish, but again, to obviously enclose your van quite nice and neatly. Um, and it's your standard sort of depth, so it comes off from the van normally about sort of 250, depending on your wind out. Um, but typically that tends to be kind of the case. Uh, like I said, you can obviously remove panels out and kind of go from there if you wished. Throughout the whole kind of range of Isabella awnings, they do a range of floorings. So you've got an option to when it comes to flooring. Um, normally they just do one flooring, but you do it in three different colors. So it depends on whether you want kind of your, um, your sort of your gray, your blue, or your sort of lighter gray. So again, you can match it up. So whether you've got say the the door material, really, you'll probably go for the two grays. Whereas a capri works quite nicely. There's no reason you can't do it. And the joys of this material is that you can actually cut it and it doesn't fray. So you can really position it. So you can just get a generic carpet, a correct size, for example, and then trim off what any extras you need. For more questions, queries, or any concerns about kind of everything we've gone through, and apologies, I've probably rambled on for quite long. Um, we've, like I said, we've got in-depth videos of every single model we've talked about here um, today. So if you want to know more information, you always want to check the link below the video where we've got individual links to the latest prices, all the frames you can go with it, individual features, and everything all at a touch of a button, as well as those review videos linked to each individual product. So you can have a look at that as well. But that's kind of how I think. Uh, it's a lot we got through, um, but really it's quite an extensive range and 
it's one of those things, once you go and buy an Isabella, it's something you never buy anything else because you just get used to the quality, the feel, the breathability, um, the look and the lastness of it. You know, a good Isabella will last you 15, 20 years, you take care of it. It's, it's yeah, there really isn't quite anything quite like it, really. So, um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you again soon in our next Atmos video. And that's been our little overview of the whole Isabella collection.